All right, guys, here we go. Um, I'm just going to be showing off my uh, my last, well, not a last, just just a nice wave, just that encompasses a few of the things that we talked about and I've shown you um, in full. So you can see basically from the start of a wave when there's no zombies all the way through to killing the last zombie, basically how you need to to run it. Now, when I've got enough points and when I'm not looking to build to any particular weapon or anything, I like to activate the machine gun at the start. And that's because there's normally, after wave 25, probably even a bit earlier than that, there's, there's normally more zombies than will spawn in at once. And what I mean by this is that you're not going to get all the zombies for that level in straight away. You're going to have to kill some and then more will spawn. And if you're using the machine gun to kill off uh, quite a few at the start, then there's more of a chance that the, the total amount of zombies will spawn into the, uh, into the map. And therefore when you've got them all bunched up, you only have to kill them all once. Um, it doesn't always work, and it, it's not the best. Uh, um, it just, just thins them out a bit because I'm not really interested in, uh, in picking up the points anymore. So I've got a bunch together. I've got quite a few of them out. So basically, I'm going to start with a with a monkey. Uh, basically, the monkey did, did hit something on the way through and didn't really go where I wanted it to. So it's going to cause me a few problems in a second. Um, but just playing it safe, playing it slow, playing it careful, and um, you can easily stack them back up and get them back in um, into the zone. The main downfall of the zombies, uh, zombies, the monkeys, is that it does tend to just break zombies in half and leave loads of crawling ones uh, lying around. Now, crawling zombies, if you've damaged a zombie, killed a zombie, knocked a zombie down, um, they will die eventually. They do time out. They don't last forever. They do time out eventually. There is there is a case that they will die, which is why you want to leave a zombie alive. If you're going to leave a zombie alive at the end of the level, make sure it's a completely healthy zombie, because otherwise it, you can die when you're least expecting it and you leave you miles from your uh, ideal place, basically. So I've got the org at the moment. It is pack a punched. Now the org, pack a punched org, is probably my favourite pack a punched weapon um, because it has the shotgun and uh, I just like it. Really, I'm not going to lie. Um, and as you can see, I'm picking my roots carefully through the zombies that are spawning and um, just using the, the thunder gun a bit just to kill a huge crowds of them at once. It's, it's a bit repetitive, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, it, it, when you play in it, it isn't the most thrilling thing to do. I just definitely recommend having a beer in one hand, uh, and maybe um, some music on if you've not got uh, another TV, but luckily my PC is nearby, so I could easily put on, uh, I think I was watching How I Met Your Mother or something, and uh, keep myself entertained that way, because uh, it does, does grind out a little bit, and um, it can drive you slightly insane. But basically, it's just a case of like I said, I killed all the zombies from the first pile. I tried to kill them all at once using the thunder gun, and the uh, the reason for that is so that it basically starts a new wave all at once, rather than having sort of stragglers. But you kill three or four, and then three or four more spawn, I'm trying to kill them in huge groups and um, get the huge groups to spawn again. As you can see here, I've got myself trapped a little bit, and uh, the thunder gun just saves you a little bit of concern just by allowing you just to blow them all away. So bringing them all back together again, just completely continuing to run around. If it needs, if needs must, use the thunder gun. 24 shots, which is the max ammo, is, is more than enough to get you through a couple of rounds. And uh, you normally pick up a max ammo every now and again. Took an opportunity here uh, to turn the machine gun on again because I had them uh, quite far behind me. And basically, I was just doing it like I said at the start, just because I want them to uh, to die, basically and uh, try and kill them off a bit quicker try and get the, the last, latter bunch uh, of zombies spawned into the map so I can um, finish them off so as you saw I, I started them up with 5000 points I've used the machine gun twice and I've not really killed any zombies myself I've not really picked up it, I've not made any improvement on my points uh, if you're looking to stack points you need to make the kills yourself and um, obviously that would be the way to do it you need to make the, uh, the shots yourself go for the headshots and uh, stack them up Um, I'm trying to think of something I haven't told you about that would uh, be interesting while you watch me run around, around in circles. Um, basically, I think the only one I haven't, uh, the only the only thing I haven't talked about is the uh, the double tap and why I don't particularly use it. Now the double tap is the the yellow cola that which is in the alleyway on this level. And um, oh, you're just about to get excited when I'm running away. I'm going to activate the trap and let the trap kill off the last wave. Now the, the double tap gives you um, basically it uh, gives you the ability to fire twice as fast, so every, but every time you'd fire one bullet normally you'd now fire two. Now it's good if you've got the M16 because obviously you've got the ammo to hand and you don't have to worry about anything or running out of ammo, whereas the uh, other weapons 
then you're going to be in more trouble because you're going to run out of ammo sooner. Um, but there it is, guys. Just uh, a quick full wave, about five minutes, using the monkeys, using the traps, using the gun, using the strategy. All right, leave us a rate, leave us a comment if there's anything you think I've missed or anything else you want to see, and uh, I'll put it in the fifth vid and uh, finish it off with that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.